Good evening. I'm Jessica Cartalia with tonight's top local stories. The Central Bucks County School Board just wrapped up a meeting about a controversial policy involving what teachers can display in their classroom. Carrie Carrada was in that meeting and joins us live in Doylestown. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Jessica. That's right. This is definitely a hot topic within the district. We talked to some people who agree with it all, and then we spoke with some people who do not agree. Now, that's right. That meeting just got over about a half hour ago, and it was a packed house inside the Central Buck School District board meeting in Doylestown tonight. Now, after a two and a half hour meeting, the board voted to pass Policy 321. Now, to break it all down for you, Policy 321 has been around since 2018, which in part prohibits district employees from participating in political activities during work hours. Now it would also prohibit teachers from displaying political flags and posters. Now LGBTQ students say this is another dig at them and the pride flag. Those also against it say it's a form of censorship. On the other side, those for policy 321 feel it will create a balanced and neutral environment in the classrooms and we spoke with people about how they feel after the vote. I'm not surprised but very disheartened, very upset. It's the direction the board's been going, and uh, we expected it, but we're going to keep fighting. Saying that they're for the kids and for the teachers when what they're actually doing is just ripping a school district apart that I really care about. However, it is not the role of a teacher to tell students which side of a social or public policy debate is the right or wrong side to be on. Remaining neutral in these classroom discussions is paramount to every student's education. The best approach to take for a public institution evenly funded by taxpayers is for the staff to stay neutral and not advocate in favor or against divisive topics that can be handled in the home by the parents. Now, in the end, that vote did pass 6-3 to three in Doylestown. Carrie Carrado, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Carrie, thanks.